So I just got done watching the Frost Reviews interview with Marbles, and oh my fucking god. So let me get this straight. You're going to sit there with a straight face and try to say that you can know what someone else's intentions were. I mean, it's bad enough you think the slit mouth woman legend is real. And it's bad enough that your fanboys are so stupid they don't even know what that is and think that's a tattoo of Katana from Mortal Kombat. But it's also another thing when you think you're a telepath can read minds and know what people's intent is. You're, you're an idiot. You're also really, really trying too hard to be a white knight which is impossible, because when you say something along the lines, motherfucker, of, uh, you know, oh, I was just trying to do the, the right thing and expose an abuser, it doesn't work, okay? Coming from you, it doesn't work. You're the same son of a bitch who tried to send Nate Talks to you into an epileptic fucking seizure by sending him a video that would trigger his epilepsy because you wanted a good laugh. You're also the same son of a bitch who tried to get another ranter, whose name I'm not going to mention out of respect to her privacy, set up to be potentially beaten, raped, and abused by her psychotic ex-boyfriend because you didn't think enough drama was going on in the community and were trying to pull the right strings with the right people to set this fucking horrible shit up. I mean, you don't even have the right to say you wanted to do something good. You're completely incapable, motherfucker. You've suggested that when you don't, when you have a problem with somebody, you've suggested they just kill themselves, and you don't like when people suggest you do the same. Okay, you sit there and, and, and peg on take shot action for his issues with uh, cutting and depression, and for what? You're going to sit there and say you want to expose me as an abuser, but you're sitting there pushing the right buttons you think with the with people to get them to go over the edge and do some really extreme shit that they shouldn't do for a laugh yet I'm an abuser because I have a fight with my fiance that ends up on YouTube because you want to get some lulls out there I mean it's amazing I mean to, to even insinuate that you wanted to do the right thing look at the title of the last mirror that remains of this fucking thing on YouTube Look at your faggot fucking friend Waymu's comment on it. It's pretty clear what your intentions were in putting it out there. You wanted to get the word out. It was just to exploit it for a fucking laugh. You guys don't care. And, and the irony about all this, I think, that's just in, insane, is that it's quite obvious to me where a guy like Marvels comes from in life. He's going to sit there and, and, and bitch about, oh, I hate domestic abuse and that, and he's an abusive piece of crap. Yet, you're doing the same shit, and you are, quite clearly to me, a victim of domestic abuse. I mean, you're the prototypical loser who came from in a household where his dad wasn't around a lot, and a few times he was, he was taking a shoe or a belt to you, your siblings, and possibly your mom, too. Yet your way of lashing out about this is being just as big of a piece of shit to everyone around you. Like when I watch your video about uh, Stout's response to uh, Kanye West and shit, that was really less to do with what Stout had to say about Kanye West and more, to me at least, more to do with him having Maddie in his video. You're just jealous that people you dislike on YouTube have a much more active social life than you. That's really at the core what it the fuck is. Even motherfuckers like me. And yet you attack them out of jealousy because you don't have that in your private life. I mean, you might have some people, all right? You might not be completely devoid, but it sure as fuck is not a whole lot. In fact, I'm willing to wager that the reason you wear that stupid filtration mask in each of your videos is to mask your identity from the few people who do you know you in your personal life because if they ever found out what the fuck it is you get up to on YouTube they'd boot you the shit out and then you would truly have nobody you associate with shitbags that are no different than you the lowest kind of common denominator of people you can find on here yet we're the piece of shit I never understood that you know you, you'll go and, like I said, try to make somebody go into an epileptic seizure for a laugh, and yet we're pieces of shit because, oh yeah, Kanye West. No, and that doesn't have anything to do with that. Or, oh yeah, because he said this about feminism and all that. And no, it has nothing to do with that. It's that your life sucks and it's fucking empty and ours isn't, so you just can't deal with that. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake, you're 20 fucking 2 or 20 fucking 3 years old. Alright? I may not be much older than you, only by a few years, 
but I know enough about life at this particular point in my life to know where all this shit is fucking coming from. So you know what? Shut the fuck up! You're just gonna go, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. You know, he's got me really good. Huh. <laughs> well, what if I showed up on your doorstep one day, motherfucker, and just beat the shit out of you because I think you're a fucking piece of shit? Would you be going, oh, that's good. Oh, he's got me really good. He's broken my nose and a few of my fucking teeth out. Because to be honest, that's the future you're setting up for yourself. One day you're going to fucking piss somebody off by doing this petty shit you do on YouTube to someone in real life. And they're going to fucking wail on you and just leave you there. You're going to end up doing that. You're going to end up either feeling like a piece of shit or winding up like the worthless motherfuckers you see hanging out in front of the Bank of America building up in fucking Charlotte begging for goddamn change and getting their ass kicked on a fucking daily basis because you care more about this kind of crap and being spiteful and fucking petty about the shortcomings in your life than you do in getting a life. So again, you're better off just killing yourself. You get all sorts of mad about that when somebody pulls the same card you fucking do, but you might be. I mean, if you're incapable of doing something meaningful with your time, then hey man, you know, I'm sure that rope is on sale at fucking Home Depot, I'm sure they've got great clearances on some Drano, and who knows, you know, I mean, some of your gun stores in town might be having a fucking sale, okay, I don't know, he's just gonna get all sorts of ass blasted that I put this out, because you know what, his motherfucking self just cannot handle when somebody pulls the same card on him he does on other people, well, it's what you goddamn deserve, for trying to push certain people's buttons about certain issues. Especially when it comes to kids and shit. I mean, that's just the lowest of the low. Even fun with logic, when I talked to his fucking ass on Skype, even admitted, yeah, that was pretty low. I He apologized to me for doing that shit. You don't give a fuck. I mean, you're like the kind of troll that even a guy like that will look at and go, just, wow, you're a fucking scumbag. I mean, you really are an unfeeling bastard. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not going to mention names. If he watches this, he already knows what I'm referencing. Okay? He's done the same shit to me. You know, he's doing it to somebody else. He already knows what I'm referencing because he took the time to make the jab. Not going to mention anything further than that. But you're a fucking piece of shit for that. You really are. Just to think that shit's exploitable and fucking funny. You really deserve a friggin' socket wrench up the ass for that. So, you know, all in all, you're a fucking piece of shit who's nowhere near the position to go out there and say, oh, I exposed some guy as an abuser. You know, I think Stout's a piece of shit for these reasons because he says this about Kanye West when it's really just my jealousy that he's got friends and I don't have shit. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Oh, and by the way, if I'm really, really such an abusive piece of shit then don't you think that my fiancé would have left by now? Isn't that a rational idea? I mean, if I was such an abusive piece of shit, would we really still be together, live in the same house together, own a house together, be doing all these amazing things with our life together, still being engaged and setting up to get married and shit? <laughs> oh, wait, in before battered woman syndrome or whatever the fuck he can pull off Wikipedia... Being a high school dropout doesn't help, motherfucker. Anyway, fuck this piece of shit. I am some guy on the internet, and so are you. I hope you enjoyed this long overdue video.